Okay, this is the RFB's tilting bolt locking mechanism. You probably see in the picture here, this is the extractors are in the upper position where they would be holding an empty casing ready for ejection. As the bolt travels forward, it's to a point where it is at its forwardmost position. You can see just a little bit of light right there coming up behind the end of the bolt and in front of the locking bar. Uh, in order for the bolt to reach this point, the rounded is just chambered and has to be fully chambered. Notice up here on the carrier, the amount of space left between the front of the carrier and the back of the piston. A little more than a half an inch. I forgot to put my finger there. Okay. As the carrier continues forward, the rear of the bolt is forced down behind or in front of the locking bar. At the same time, the carrier is riding up over the top of the extractors and forcing them down over the, the recently chambered round. See here, as I slide back out, the extractors are now at the lowest position uh, where they would be gripping the, uh, the chambered round. In this case, we're pulling it back out. In order for the bolt to get to this position to where it can start to lock, that round has to be fully chambered. Now, with the carrier all the way forward, if you look closely up here, you might be able to see just a little bit of movement at the front of the bolt. Let me show you what that is causing that. Okay. Okay, as the, the carrier slides forward over the bolt, forces the extractors down over the case, but in the last eighth of an inch of travel, you able to just see it right here, the extractors are just being forced up over the top of the ramp. So if you're having a problem with the carrier stopping in the last eighth inch of travel, I would look right there to make sure the tops of the extractors and the tops of those ramps are smooth and that they're well lubricated. Um, this is a fairly high pressure application where the where the carrier forces up over the extractors. Um, I use a grease there called Shooter's Choice. Um, a very good molly grease that, that works good for those type of applications and, uh, and slide rails. That's about it. The RFB tilting locking mechanism.